Here we are with Jujutsu Kaisen episode 7. In the last episode we got lots of information about cursed energy, like that there is cursed energy and cursed techniques which you are born with, and that you basically have to control your emotions to be able to use it, right? So lots of information in the last episode, and yeah. Now Gojo faces off against this one dude, which I don't know the name of. I think they mentioned the name, but I forgot. And I guess we will see how that turns out. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think, and I would say let's get to this episode. Okay, here we go again. Now that I watch animes in like, as reactions, it becomes very obvious how often they show like the last bit of the last episode. <laughs> I never really realized because these parts that are just like the, la the ending of the last episode, I often just skipped when I was watching anime by myself. You can make volcanoes on surfaces? But I think that is not enough to be a threat to Gojo, right? Yeah, I don't think so, dude. <laughs> <clears throat> but he is supposedly strong, being like as strong as like 8 or 9... Fingers, right? Curse spirit. So is he not a unregistered special curse? <laughs> Will we see some Gojo action? Maybe after the intro. So what did he say? I didn't quite catch. Did he, did he say that he's did Gojo realize that he's stronger than uh, Sukuna and Itadori currently? Which would make sense since Itadori only has like three fingers right now. Dude, doesn't that mean that Itadori has, like, a lot of growth possibilities? Not just by himself, like, getting better, getting stronger, learning techniques and all that stuff, learning to use uh, curse energy. But also getting stronger by eating more fingers, basically. <clears throat> but maybe those would just make Sukuna stronger, not really Itadori. Hmm. But either way, I mean, if Sukuna would take over and he eats more fingers, that would mean that he just, that Sukuna gets stronger, right? Hmm. So I guess either way, there's like still a lot of growth possibilities. I wonder how often we will we will the dip, dip we will go into uh, Sukuna's domain inside his body. Ooh. What is this? Weird bugs? Amber insects? What the fuck? They explode. Hmm. 
<clears throat> oh. I think his curse barrier is very strong, <laughs> so it doesn't really impact him. Yeah, a bit too hasty, dude. <laughs> the infinity between us. Ooh. Come on, put up your hand. Play along. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What the hell? Dude, this is so crazy. So it's not a shield, it's just that everything around him gets really slow. It's jujutsu. Reversal. Red? Do the OSD again. Oh my god! He's like, I'm out. Maybe. Oh, he is fast too. So is Infinity kind of like his Jujutsu? That sounds hella strong. Or is just, or is infinity just like a thing that you can utilize if you know how? <laughs> Water. Perfect against a fire enemy. Oh, the domain. <laughs> Here, fight him. Have some fun. Perfect training. Oh, watching. On <laughs> Fuji? Dude, how fast is he? But he goes all the way back, grabs him, and goes all the way back again. Oh my god, is this Lord of the Rings? <laughs> yeah. And the punch. And the punch. I want to see the punch. Oh, domain expansion. Here we go. <clears throat> C. 
So Itadori can learn pretty fast, it seems like. Curse energy. Ten seconds ago. <laughs> we warped? Both pieces right in front of him. No. He's just a spectator. <laughs> the disrespect. <laughs> I mean, Gojo is the strongest, right? Here we go. A volcano, maybe? Somewhat? Inside a volcano, maybe? Something like that? Iron Mountain. <clears throat> I like Sukuna's domain better. <laughs> With the temple or shrine. Curse technique. And this was also one, I guess. Okay. I guess so. <laughs> will always hit <clears throat> so that why the slices of Sukuna hit probably or <laughs> it was all fun games be until it became serious. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh oh 
That's some blue eyes. Dude, he looks so different, like his hairstyle and everything, when it's not pushed up because of his blindfold. Bruh. <laughs> Don't do drugs. <laughs> Is he like frozen in time? <laughs> He's overwhelmed. Oh my god. Oh boy. Holy shit, dude. And puts the blindfold back on. He's just been different. <laughs> I guess he's also a jujutsu jiu sorcerer. Being a double agent or some shit. We do, we are the true humans after all. I guess he would exercise him anyway, right? Yeah, yeah I do it anyway. <laughs> the curse. <laughs> so that's why he didn't realize that they are here, I guess, because they hide the presence. I have to rewatch that too much text. <laughs> oh, fight Gojo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Some tough missions. I mean, if you learn from the best, right? <laughs> no, you forgot about it.
<laughs> Will we see more people maybe? More bad guys? No. Okay. He just lives. Okay. Interesting. I want to say he just lives in an apartment, but I don't think so. Oh, is this a guy that licks the blood in the intro? And there they are. Do I look okay? October 31st. Okay. Which day do we have now? Yep, it's the guy. Okay. Yes, there's an another after credit scene. Damn, that's like <clears throat> really interesting with Gojo. So does he have like infin infinity as his power? Somehow or is it just some, like I said in the episode, is it like his technique he has from the get-go, basically, he was born with? <clears throat> or is it something that is just like a thing you can utilize in the world? If you know how, and if you are, like, capable of it. Hmm. I would guess that it's maybe something that Gojo was born with. Um. But. The way they talked about it, like. Made it sound like as if it's maybe something you can utilize. That everyone could utilize if they know how. If they have, like. If they learned it, maybe. Because Gojo said inf infinity is everywhere. Or maybe that's just because infinity is... Be maybe infinity infinity is his thing, right? And it's just every everywhere, so he can use it everywhere. Hmm. Oh my god. Playing ball with him. Yep. Oh my god. God damn. And no teeth. Or barely any. I think you can't. Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, um, I rewatched part of the episode and it seems like after rewatching it now that Infinity is, Go is Gojo's jujitsu because he said uh, Infinity is everywhere, but with his jujitsu he can like manifest it. So I guess it's his technique that he was basically born with, which seems pretty overpowered, right? Um, having like basically infinity on your side and everything that gets around you gets really slow, which is basically like a shield. Mm. And then like his domain, which is like basically infinity too, where you just slow down. So 
that basically really means unless you are stronger than Gojo, you can't beat him. I mean, we don't know the restrictions, right? The limitations. We don't know how often can he use his domain. Does the domain exhaust him? Um, or can he just spam his domain? Because if he can just spam his domain, then unless your domain is stronger than his domain, he can always use his domain and the stronger domain wins and his domain is super OP from what it seems like. Um, and like, yeah, it it feels like since we don't know the limitations of his uh, infinity stuff and everything and his, his capabilities, right now he just seems super OP. Um, but yeah, unless, from what it seems like, unless you are stronger than him, there's like, it seems like there's no chance of beating him. <laughs> from what it seems like, it's pretty crazy. I mean, there will be a point that Gojo will have trouble, right? I mean, there must be a point, right? Uh, <clears throat> it would be weird if we haven't shown an anime like this, and there's one character that is unbeatable, and nothing can face him, so there must be something that will face him at some point and will be trouble for him. And I just can't grasp what it could be, unless it's just something that is super powerful and stronger than him, so that his domain is not, or that his power is like basically uh, nullified or something, right? Uh, or that he can't use his domain because the other domain is stronger. So interesting to see where that is going. Or maybe he will just keep being overpowered all the time and when and he's just not always around, right? Because he can't be everywhere all the time, right? So I guess this will be interesting, but goddamn. Gojo is badass. <laughs> and damn his blue eyes, and he looks like I said in the episode, he looks so different when his hair is down because it's not pushed up by the headband or the blindfold. It's super he looks so different. And I'm wondering, why does he keep the blindfold on? Does it have something to do with his infin infinity power or something? Hmm. I, maybe we'll, we will find out why he's wearing the blindfold or not. But yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching, and next time, bye-bye.